what's in the box? This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends. Imports. Many maybe I'm fucking with. High beast we know about you. Stay buying figs. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with a quick update. As promised, I got in this little package here from Extreme Sets. So shout out to the fine folks at Extreme Sets. My camera stand is just moving on its own. <laughs> As you saw the other day, it was kind of in a sad state. I used this for uh, to prop up the Sith speeder in my Darth Maul display. So I don't know what the hell's going on. I do have another one somewhere around here that I need to break out. But yeah. So this is a package full of furniture and other goodies, I think. And uh, I guess I'll go through this stuff one by one and then maybe get this into a setup. Whoa, so I'm pleased with what I have here and excited to utilize some of this stuff in some displays. Like I've always talked about and like I've been talking about a lot recently, props, accessories, those accents for your displays when you're staging and you're building your little miniature environment for your characters are essential. And uh, Extreme Sets is taking it to the next level here. They have been known for doing those kind of cardboard pop-up sets, which honestly, I'm not a huge fan of that stuff. I've used their stuff quite a few times in different displays as sort of like background pieces. You know, it's kind of hard to shoot that stuff in focus because Oftentimes it just doesn't look as realistic as a diorama, but this here, there's nothing cardboard about it. In fact, this is like real, like little wooden pieces and material and the cushions and stuff here are removable on the couches. And this is quality stuff. I'm really uh, pleased with these uh, little pieces here. And he sent some extra little things, some like mugs and uh, hold on, a couple of little beer glasses here with beer in it. I'll get those out shortly, but that looks really good. And some larger cups. I don't know how well that's showing up. Like I said, I'll get these out and get everything into some setup. Now this right here is fire. They did a really great job on these little uh, drinks here. So in the middle right there, you can see like the little carafe and the top is actually removable. So you can take the top off and play with that. And then they've got the little glasses of brandy there. That looks great. All of these look very good. And like I said, the quality here is, is pretty good. You see there's like a wooden underbelly here. And all of these parts here, open and close the drawer, can be pulled out. Yeah, I'm 100% endorsing this stuff. So as we speak, this is up for, I think it's up for order. I think this stuff is available for order now. The pre-order is is over and that this stuff is is shipping. It's up on Big Bad Toy Store right now. We've been we've been promoting this stuff for a few weeks now, maybe like a little over a month on the ACBA Instagram and putting up links to uh, to purchase this stuff or to pre-order this stuff. And quite a few people have been clicking those links. So I do think that a lot of people are kind of hip to this stuff, but I definitely wanted to get this in the video and show you guys and, and put my seal of approval on this. It's it's very good. Let me uh, get some people seated in these things and, and just do the ultimate test with this stuff. So I will go ahead and do some some displaying. But uh, yeah, man, get on Big Bad Toy Store right now and type in the code. Look nice as that mother Just kidding. Don't do that. All right, here's a couple of SH Figuarts figures and the yellow couches here. So the love seat and the sofa i guess i don't know what's a love seat is a love seat a single seater or is a love seat a two-seater it would make more sense that a love seat was a two-seater i don't know anyway uh so this looks pretty good you're gonna have a hard time seating certain figures uh especially like imports here without this little gap that you see because the butt is not going to actually sit flush really you know normally what i do is little tricks and stuff i'll take the hand and hide that little space in between there but as far as just the scale goes this does look good they do sit in there fine this guy in the gray suit with the uh two fingers up is sort of at the edge of the couch i can get him to to sit back i've been messing around with it a bit here but you know this looks good in my little makeshift apartment and there's a Figma figure, the Figma Deadpool. And I've got him holding the uh, beer glass here. 
and eating a chimichanga. But yeah, trying to get some more relaxed poses here on the couch. Like I said, these should work just fine for these figures. So these are sort of like five inch scale or true six inch scale as some like to call it. Let's see how it looks with some uh, figures that are a little larger. All right, and there's a look at Marvel Legends, which look really good as well. I've got the, um, what was this? The Sauron Builder Figure Wave uh, Deadpool. And one of the Hydra agents with the bob head from the Ultimate Riders Deadpool uh, scooter set. And I've got them both holding two of the, the two bear mugs. Like they're doing a little toast here. And yeah, man. These are looking really good. Let's see what uh what Mezco looks like. Yeah, Mezco figures look good too. Everything, six inch scale, five to six inch scale is looking very good. And Mafex works as well. And again, just a little trick here because Mafex could be a little blocky, especially with this uh, particular figure with John Wick. Uh, it'll look a little weird at the pelvic area with him sitting. So I got him blocked a little bit with the dog. And you know, you can, you can do your thing. Bottom line is all of the six inch scale figures seem to be uh, fitting on this particular couch just fine. So I've said that like three times, but I keep thinking of more stuff to do and I'm, I'm pretty excited about working with these. And just for good measure, <laughs> a bigger figure, the old Hasbro blob. Come on Hasbro, give us a new blob. Uh, for the record, these other pillows here were in the box, they were like, in the box. I'm not sure if they should go, I guess it should go with this sofa, but some extra pillows and it should be noted that this has some weight to it. I thought I said that and that these cushions are removable here. So there is some playability and some realism to this as well. So moving on to the other pieces. Yep. Other furniture is looking good too. So it should be more the same here. This is the legends. You know that the SHF figures will look fine on here as well, as well the Mezcos. And yeah, I think Extreme Sets did a really good thing here. I'd like to see them expand on this and do more props and accessories, you know, obviously displaying ACBA toy photography has become a huge part of collecting over the past few years. And all of these companies, independent companies and uh, major companies alike have recognized that and they understand that and they have been catering to the toy photographers. So. This is great. Good stuff from Extreme Sets. Again, my full endorsement on these. Crispy. And um, I'm excited to move forward and, and do some real displaying with this stuff. I still do have this little bureau or uh, dresser thing to mess around with. And you can see dupe on one of the little stools here. But again, a lot of playability, a lot of possibilities, a lot of fun factor. All right. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.